Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right up! Everyone wins this lovely Cupid doll! <laughs> Welcome to the Nation of Fools! Home of the Spooky Circus of Doom! Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> I've never really understood the circus as a horrifying thing, and yet so often it is. I don't know, it's like certain cultures just find things like clowns scary. I mean, look, he just wants to play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a specifically horror-made clown there, and also, I can't help but just find him silly. <laughs> by the way, how many times do you think we've already used Gale Force? <laughs> uh, a lot. <laughs> I, I have a- whoa, that's not circus! That's not circus! That's not how you circus! No. So, welcome to the Nation of Fools, home of the circus, as well as decrepit, broken-down buildings of extreme doom and space-time continuum breaking. <laughs> home of Trippy? What the? I forgot about this! This is a really, really weird world, but I quite like it, actually. Yeah? It's it's it has pasta in it. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's the cabinet and the freaking solar eclipse in the background. It is an interesting background. I really do like this place. It's just so bizarrely trippy. And there's definitely nothing special about this center room. Definitely not. <laughs> not at all. Anyways, that cog is something we actually well, need to do to progress in the tower. <laughs> one of the power spheres from uh, Return to Dreamlands up there. <laughs> hey, hey, Rome. Hey, Rome. Yes? I hope you brought lots of spaghetti! <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> oh, terrible references. <laughs> Oh, hey, Medusa Heads! Uh, Yay. what the... Oh, that, that, immediately... That's not how Medusa Heads work! Wh what happened to the gravity? <laughs> that's how they work now! <laughs> and they immediately dropped us their weapon! <laughs> this freaking place is just... <laughs> I hope your mind is not in the mood for being broken right now, because it's going to be just curled oh. over your knee and spanked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This place is a lot more unusual than I for, than I remembered. Yeah, yeah, I kind of vaguely remembered. Oh, hello there, card. I'll be getting more into oh, those yeah. later. Oh yeah, that's a side quest, isn't it? Yeah, fun that we don't get for quite some time. So I'm happy that one of them already dropped. <laughs> Two thousand dollars just sitting there. Well, at least that's handy. Also, word of warning, I go the wrong way a lot because this place confuses the hell out of me. <laughs> How can you even tell if you're going the right way? <laughs> I'm very carefully studying my map and the spare monitor and trying to remember if I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> but nothing else is going the right way. Well, the right way is very subjective, and I think my route to this world is considered pretty awful in terms of efficiency, but it will have to do! <laughs> as long as you find everything, that's all that matters. Yeah, this world has a... basically, it's a wheel centered around that center room. And the oh, map yeah. is, like, completely... Mirrored. It's not 100% four-way symmetrical, but it is two-way symmetrical. <laughs> sort of. All it's right. symmetrical and flipped upside down. It's weird. <laughs> it makes sense as much as it can. And it takes a rather long time to progress through, on somehow. Just, uh, the next world is much more straightforward, but this one is not. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I really can't help but jump to the music. <laughs> that is the kind the of music that uh, encourages that. It, it kind of reminds me of something out of Banjo-Kazooie, actually. By the way, totally breakable wall! <laughs> 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 the 
There's some caviar in there, you know. Be best way to find some food. <laughs> of course. Let's see, what am I demonstrating now? Oh yes, I'm getting ice meal prepared. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to avoid. Well, that works. Oh, Charlotte, you're the best. <laughs> she really is. If I could have, like, four spells queued up on different buttons, I'd be happy, but... Yeah. Gotta make oh, do man, with what spike... you have. I can't... I wonder if the spike boots actually let me jump on things to damage them, because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget to actually look at what my new equipment does, because I get so comfortable with what I currently have set up. <laughs> that and you just have so much new equipment. Yeah, they really just throw it all over the place at you. This is what happens when Jonathan uses, like, team weapon types. <laughs> okay, now we've gone full-out anti-gravity. Don't no, mind us, just slightly upside down. Well, we are on the top of the world, so, you know, it has to be flipped in that direction. <laughs> yes. Makes total sense. <laughs> At least it doesn't reverse your controls or anything annoying like that. Once again, there's another small little passageway that we can't get through yet. <laughs> <laughs> they like to put those one little items in each world that we have to come backtrack for just to get that one thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we now have the ability to summon a volcano! <laughs> I, I just love how that's worded. Here, Volcano, here, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Unfortunately, I forgot to actually demonstrate it, because I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> the heck? We get a freaking usable food item inside a, inside a fake wall. I mean... Okay. Maybe it's really good? I don't know. What's, what words are being hidden? <laughs> Just as weird a name as that is, I have to wonder if that's an actual thing called that. Probably. It says it's based on a popular candy, so it's... Yeah. Probably something like that. Man, look at all those lovely acrobats jumping directly into Guild Force. They're so cooperative. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we've done like one half of the world now. Now we gotta spin around to do the next half. <laughs> Which way are we facing now? We're right side up at the moment. <laughs> We're back at the bottom of the world, so it temporarily makes sense. I'll change shortly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this is... <laughs> this is probably the weirdest world in the game by a significant margin. Yeah. Action jump yeah. dodging! And failures! <laughs> I, I have to ask, how much trouble did this give you? Because that looks really tricky to get past without getting hit. Honestly, it's a lot. It looks a lot worse than it is. You have enough mobility oh, okay. with you jumping in. They, they do move kind of slow. So it's usually if you screw up. Now, as for things that cause trouble. <laughs> Hello, these guys. The flying armor are a pain in the oh, ass. Because yeah. that sword will just come at you out of nowhere and. It moves pretty fast. So, yeah. um, how do you feel about farming? Yes. Uh, it's it's truly a wonderful thing. Here we go! <laughs> so, I've hidden, been hitting out there being a decent weapon for Jonathan coming up that gets him a little bit more usable. And it's dropped from these guys! <laughs> but everything I want this easily... I'm, I'm just too busy laughing at how the music sounds sped up. <laughs> Yeah, this usually does not speed up well. <laughs> you gotta try not to kill them in the ceiling, or the sword will drop above the like it will drop before you can't get it. Oh, <laughs> that that would be annoying. The nebula web just works a treat against them though, because there's range and homing ability. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. The heaven sword, which I'll demonstrate oh, okay. here, but I'm not under attack. <laughs> Probably. Probably a good idea, yeah. The Nebula Whip is awesome, and I should probably keep using it, but this thing! This thing is amazing! Okay, that sorry. looks good. Nice. This this thing can hit up to three or four times in one throw. 
That's what makes it I so damn strong. I honestly don't know if I ever had that. I got it in my first run in the game, and it was pretty much the sword I used for the rest of the game because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it looks oh, I love it. it. It doesn't work so well on smaller enemies, but oh, big ones. Big ones. <laughs> <laughs> That looked satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I still had that equipped, actually. I thought I was gonna get a horse, though. Hmm, <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> Delicious. So, I've managed to go the wrong way in these rooms both times now. I should've went up there. There's an HP up waiting for me. <laughs> Whoops. And it's about this time, I think, where I might... I actually realize it. No, I still keep going the wrong way first. <laughs> At some point, I realize <laughs> that I've made a boo-boo. <laughs> I think I swing well, back you gotta around explore and get it later, around it? anyway. Yes. Might as well fill out the lower quadrant here. Charlie is still a lot better for killing enemies in awkward positions. Yeah. And this place looks to be all about awkward positions. Pretty much. Pretty much. Vassal jacket! So much of this armor is so useless to me just because I don't have to care about the defensive stats. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, the fact that I'm still wearing the, yeah. wearing the tux... Yeah, they're perfectly safe there, it's fine. <laughs> See, look at that damage. Just BAM! <laughs> yeah? I see that you too. Works quite nicely. <laughs> Plus, if you fire just before landing, you can immediately fire another one, so it gets pretty crazy. Oh, nice. Who needs sub weapons? God. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'll paper airplanes and pies. The paper airplane is admittedly one of the best sub weapons in the game, which is stupid. <laughs> 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 it covers some of the best range that you can with it, and it's not that weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> The choke weapons are some of the best sub weapons. <laughs> At least we reached the point where I'm actually happy to use Jonathan just because of this friggin' sword. <laughs> yeah, it's good to give him at least some screen time with that. He's been getting a decent amount. I've been being pretty good about trying to make sure he gets to do something at yeah. least. <laughs> that and oh, hi there, entrance. Yeah, we've looked back around. Remember when I said my route was probably kind of crazy and bad? <laughs> I found a clown shirt, but it's not actually a male clown shirt, it's a female clown shirt. <laughs> well, alright. Increases luck, which is pretty cool at least. But nah. I'm happy being a nun for this I guess idea. if you really, really <laughs> want to be Harley Quinn. <laughs> that clown shirt's not nearly crazy enough for that. This frickin' sword, man! This frickin' sword! <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So good. Jonathan, you're useful now! I'm so proud of you! <laughs> <laughs> he finally gets to flex his muscles as a manly man. <laughs> <laughs> By throwing his boomerang sword. <laughs> Oh god, it wants you! <laughs> it's okay, the slimes are pretty garbage at doing their whole attacking thing. <laughs> They're intimidating, but they don't really do much. Hmm, <laughs> <Ooh>, two thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds useful. Yeah, this, um, other than the Master Ring, which I'll pick up at some point so we can actually have a couple of Master Techniques on Jonathan. Oh, uh, there's not really a whole lot to spend money on. <laughs> I mean, there's the Miser Rings later, which are the recipe to being overpowered on level 1 runs and all those other secondary modes, but, you know, details. I guess at the very least, if there are any, uh, sub-weapons or magic spells that uh, Vincent ends up selling. There are 
Some. I mean, he sold a scythe needle, which I'm getting a, giving a lot more credit these days, because how much safer it is to run in with that. <laughs> was that also where you got Rock Riot, or was that somewhere else, actually? Yeah, that's where I got Rock Riot. It made the first world so much easier! <laughs> because Vincent's a bro sometimes, but he hasn't updated his stock in a while. Yes, he is. They get a silk hat, a proper gentleman's hat, but the bandana is better. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that goes Sorry, well with the monocle. Sorry, but classiness counts for nothing. <laughs> yeah, but like we have a silk hat, we have a monocle, and we're spoilers. We're also going to get a fedora soon. Map tile. And doesn't he also have a tuxedo jacket? Yes. Oh God. This, this freaking world just made me second-guess my map completion like 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the place. Just, just staring at the map going, did I get all of them? Did I get all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I've already missed several little pieces of map in previous videos, and uh, <laughs> I'm making it worse on myself. <laughs> Ah, but we're still not done with this world, just another chunk to go. But for now, gear force. <laughs> yes. Indeed. So much gale force. <laughs> All the gale force.